Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. Used to be Stag Junior. Now it's just Stag. What? They got rid of the Junior. They got rid of the Junior. Dang, I kind of like Junior. We're going to test it. Who's your daddy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Where'd Junior go? <laughs> All right. I in, like a, a junior. in a semi twist of fate. Oh, a twist. Okay. Well, one, the Junior was, this used to be Stag Junior. We haven't reviewed it for a while. We weren't getting these. Right. We have, we've entered into a new partnership. New partnership. R&J Discount R &J. Liquors here in town. We're getting some more allocated whiskeys that we didn't used to get. Yeah. This is the latest batch, and the twist of fate is that it used to be you had to uh, establish which batch of stag you had by the ABV. That was the only way you could tell. Okay. They've gone to a numbering system, B22. Ooh. Is that right? 22. 20 or 22B. 22B. Which I don't, I thought this should be the 23. They said this was the latest batch. It's 65% ABV. Wow, that's up there. Yeah. So basically, they're copying Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Well, which is a good close, sign. close, close. All right. Not and copy. they didn't like copy the number system. And it's going to shock your system. <laughs> shock it, baby. Shock you it. You brought up Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I did. 12 year age statement is gone. Ah, oh, this or that. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. No, get out of here. Nope. We're not even talking that. You just f me up. You said, I know, but you said Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We're talking batches. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for years has had, it's been 12 years. That's old. the 12 year. It's gone finally. They're going to start labeling it by the youngest barrel put in there. You know what I like now? So I suppose it could still be, maybe it's a 13 year. Maybe oh, it's a 14 year. Maybe I like stag better. Maybe it's a nine. Maybe stag is my new favorite. I don't know. <laughs> is it a 12 year? No, there's no eight. These, most stags are around eight, nine, maybe 10. Is it only, no, 700, is it only 700 milliliters? <laughs> they want to really piss me off. Don't piss me off. Be, uh, bring, being shy. Don't bring a new shy. I don't see it on there. Oh, it's got to be on here somewhere. It's got to be 750. On the I, front. I like to say 750. 750. It's got to be 750. Zero. I, I don't little, see it in there. A little bit, we're going to show you these new toppers, too. And by a little bit, I mean right now. Right now. Oh, no, sure. there it is. Woo. 750. Small 750. print. Small print, gold on black. Hard to see. Gold on black. So, anyway, yeah, new toppers. <laughs> uh, for years, we've had ceramic coins that yes. sit on top. They, they inadvertently, yeah. they sat on top. Right. We got them as challenge coins. Yes. We found out, hey, they work as a little topper. Site. You can put them on top of your glass. We found right. these recently. These are bamboo. They have a little rubber seal on them. Ooh, I thought they were oak. You can. Bamboo. Nope, they're bamboo. Wow. I think it's more uh, liquid resistant, Ooh. tighter, harder. Tighter and harder. Uh, <laughs> but... One, you can still set it on your glass, and it's kind of still securely attached to it. And then, at the end of the night, though, say you got some whiskey left you don't want to drink, you can push it down it on there. That little rubber seal and it'll seals hold, it up, holds yeah. it. Which is true, because even when I left the coin on, yeah, I had a glass once, no coin on it. Glass with the coin on it, you come back, it's cloudy, it's jacked up, it's evaporated. The one with the coin, still good. Huh. So this... Is better though, and you can yeah. get it. We'll talk about it at the end of the show. You, also, you know, at the end of the night, if you're walking around, you're kind of. That's for me, yeah. I'd be like, unstable. you're going to spill your drink. No, I'm not. I got a dummy topper. Look, it doesn't come off. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't come off there. But, all right, anyway, all right, let's get back to stag. the stag. <laughs> People are like, God dang, get to the review already. Get to the review. <laughs> a lot of alcohol. Ooh, that burned the nostril. Ah, a lot oh, of cinnamon. Holy bar and uh, yeah, cinnamon and some. Brown sugar. Brown, Brown sugar. sugar. Give me sugar. sugar. <laughs> uh, yeah, sugar. What else? Corn, sweet corn. Uh, yeah. ABV, it's strong. Yeah. Coming 65% come coming easy. right out of the glass. And more brown sugar. The kind of brown uh, sugar that was in my grandpa's oatmeal, baby. I haven't mentioned that in a while for those <laughs> long timers. Nice. I like it. I'm going to sip. Maybe, maybe slight cherry. 
bourbon, nice, rich bourbon nose, oaky, cinnamon, cherry. Mm. Woo, that's a popper. I want to get you. What is it? Six to eight percent? Yeah. Oak? 65. Okay. 65. Five. 65. Ooh, con con for corn fusing. <laughs> All right, yeah. Lost, I've got a lot of oak in the finish. What do you got? ABV high. This is strong. Nice punch on the palate. Cinnamons, Ooh, brown sugars, caramel, uh, vanilla, oak. And, and root beer barrel or cherry cola. In the finish. Finish is long with this one. Finish is long. I hate to start on a bad note. I, bad note. I still don't get the depth that I'm looking for, though. The Really the thick richness. Okay. Probably, That's interesting. and not to compare everything to Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, yeah. but that 12 years just puts a little bit more depth of barrel influence. These at eight to nine years, to me, just a little bit lighter. That's true. Um, you know, Elijah Craig, so I'll get that, mm. that, that velvety mouthfeel, not here. Still got that great taste, though. That oak, that cherry cola, mm -hmm. a vanilla. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cream. Hmm. I'm going to put a little water in here. Yeah. Sweet corn cream, cherry cola, maybe I don't know, a little root beer, root beer cream. barrel. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. all over the place here. Vanillas, cinnamons, oak. Hmm. Not, and it's been a while since we've done a, a junior or what now. It's just mm -hmm. stag. Mm -hmm. Not the daddy stag, the B-Tac stag. Ooh, Pretty soon I won't call it the b This is... I'll just call it the beast tag. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Water didn't change it much. I'm gonna I really put some. Water I was gonna say I just put a, I didn't I just put a drop on it here, not yeah. expecting. Yeah, didn't do too much there. There's a heavy one. Oh boy, we brought the ABV down on that one. Hold this on. one, this one though is actually coming off. I think a little bit better than I was expecting. A little bit better than some of the past stags that we've had, even though it's been a while. Mm. Uh, and I think some of the earlier batches go back five, six years ago. We're, we're a little bit younger. Mm. All right. I think well, expectations are higher though. With well, actually, you know, when they took when they took the junior off of here, yeah, was the year that I believe the year that they did not release any stag daddy during the BTAC release a couple of years, either last year or two years ago. There was no, no stag. Wow, no stag. Nobody never really. Oh, they said none of our barrels matched our quality expectations for what we want for the BTAC edition. Really? That'd be cool. Well, that was true. Or, now, well, the thing is, though, it takes hundreds of barrels. Right. A hundred, a hundred barrels one. to make one batch. So, yeah, you're telling me out of a hundred barrels that there wasn't any? Couldn't do it. Matched. So, but some of the theory was that they used some of the barrels to start making the Stag Juniors a little bit older, bringing a little bit more to them, and they took off the Junior name, so it's just Stag. Oh, I There's probably it's several confused. conspiracy confused. theories out yeah. there. So I heavily watered it down. With that ABV, it still takes, it still packs some punch. Mm. Yeah, I'm not getting, I'm getting a little more oak flavor. I'm not getting all of those cherry colas anymore. I'd probably sip this one neat. A little bit of ash. I put a, the literal Great drop on here. Great enunciation. Great. Ash. Yeah, you had to make ash. sure you got full of nuts on that one. Let me put a little bit more water on mine yeah, just yeah. to see here. Mm. Is it Okay. This one, I mean, after a few sips here, it's really penetrating on the palate. Really nice. Just more oak. A little bit more. It gave me more of what I don't like, which is wood. I want less wood, not more wood. So I would not put any water on this. Let me see. Let me see it. Kind of Mine. Healthy dry. Sour oak is what I ended up getting. Took away the brown sugar, still cinnamon, and none of the cherry cola, none of that sweetness of a root beer candy, no vanillas. Yeah. Stay green or, or just a drop. Yeah, I like it with water. Mm -hmm. A little bit more astringent. I don't know if this is necessarily more oak showing or not. It's about the same, I think. A little bit more astringent. Finish. Creamier. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'll get that. Ooh. And still still nice on the palate. I still, I get a little bit of the cinnamons, mm. but now it's like cinnamon oak. Mm. Which is still, what I'm saying is neat. It had all those things in there. Um, ah. Mm. ah. That's a <laughs> breakfast dram. Make, oh, make you stand really? up. Oh. Beg for mama. So like a cinnamon liqueur. 
feel like there's cinnamon poured cousin, into there. Cousin Shane said, better oh. than happy naked fun time with happy mama. Happy naked fun time. Or sunshine H-N-F-E. on your bare bottom. <laughs> sunshine on your bare bottom. That was perfect. Spent a little time with Cousin Shane yesterday. Oh, boy. Yeah. I think it's taking water really well. I didn't like it. I didn't ah. like what it did. All I got was cinnamon oak. Cinnamon oak is what I got. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Score. 90. Oh, 87. Hmm. So, um, it's okay. I think we all know what I would go to. But they took the junior off. They did some stuff. What is the price point? Well, we did. So, uh, at R&J, Dustin, if you go in there, see if Dustin's working Dustin. on the managers. But, um... We opened it there when I bought it and tried it, and I was a little less impressed with it. It's more impressive today. Oh, okay. I would have been about an 87, 88 when I first cracked it and tried it. Okay. But, uh, so, and, and that was early in the morning, well, not early, early. mid morning, you know, when I was there. But, it uh, is. so 60, $50 is retail. Got it. That's not bad, but it doesn't usually you, go for that. You, I think you're up to 150, 200 now Got on them if right. you find them. You got to be kidding me. No, uh-uh. that's dumb. Okay. Well, retail's 50. Mm-hmm. Stupid. Mm-hmm. Pay for that. You can go get all kinds of whiskeys that are, well, people know my opinion. Yep. People know my opinion. <laughs> Andrew even said, oh, the year 2000 prices. <laughs> yeah. He was making fun of my prices. I'm like, and no. Andrew paid uh, $80 for ECBP. Yes. And then he went and bought two more. Got two, two more. Two more. What did he get? The uh, I still I still argue. Three. I would still, ECBP is still worth $100. If you're lucky, you find it for $99. It's still worth it. It's still, it's worth it. It's one of the few that's worth, it's, you're saying it's not worth $100. If that was your only option and you wanted ECBP. No, I'd go buy Rare Breed. If that was your only option. If it was you would buy only option. ECBP, Rare Breed over your ear. Out of your Out of 100 bucks. Bye. See you later. Yeah. You're ripping me. What? <laughs> ripping me off. Yeah, if they were just jacking it up, we can get more from you. But it's a premium product. Yeah, shut up, man. Shut up. There's a lot of whiskey out there. I'd start distilling my own. And it'd suck. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, good luck with that one. I'd be like, it's good, it's good. It just tastes like apples. Bart's <laughs> trash can bourbon. <laughs> it's, it's sitting right in here, baby. We're, we're aging it in his house. <laughs> All right, so. Well, we should do uh, that. That would be good. Yeah, actually. Good. I don't know if you want to eat it in like your house. Yeah, you'd come in and be like, woo, woo, you'd have black mold on the wall. <laughs> All so, right, uh, yeah. Again, on these, you can get the toppers. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can go to the merch side, the store. You can pick these up. Bamboo, baby. Bamboo. That sounds like you're saying something. Go to Patreon. You look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support Switch. us for a dollar a month, a dollar a show, two dollars a show, two dollars a month. Want. You do two dollars. Five dollars, ten dollars. What pick do we it. do if you do two? We give, a, give you a shout out Damn, like you've Augusta. never heard. I like when I say, what do you do when we do? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Scotch it. Do do. Yeah, do do. You scotch. God. Cilantro. <laughs> Dummies. <Dumb. laughs> Bring back the junior. <laughs>